Hey, what's up guys? VR Gamer Dude here, and today we are gonna kick it old school. That is right. You guys know I love the retro stuff. So I was blown away when I was over on Reddit the other day and I saw that MUVR has finally released into beta. Man, it's like the dev has been teasing us for years with screenshots and little YouTube videos, and now we can finally experience it for ourselves. And spoiler alert, it's awesome. I, I mean, I haven't been able to get out of this thing for the last two nights, so loving it. Can't wait to show you guys, so let's strap on that headset, let's get in there, and let's check out some MUVR. Alright, here we are, MUVR, and man, let me tell you, this is almost like a slice of my childhood. This, this is insane. So, um, you know, I've already done some customization in here. There are a few things that you can customize in the app, such as the posters, and, uh, you know, there's a couple of other things that you can do, but let's get to the meat of it. So, basically, we've got our room here. Um, I, I love the fact that it actually scales scaled almost right to my play space so I've, I've got it set up to where I can really get the immersion of just kind of walking around in the room here and uh, yeah speaking of posters from my childhood there's one right there poodle with a mohawk man I can't believe I found that online so all right um, in essence this is an emulator uh, and it is actually a lot of different emulators built into one environment so uh, you've got your default systems just kind of scattered around here like uh, N64, NES, PlayStation there. Um, I have uh, a collection of ROMs that I've had for a while. So, you know, I can play my favorite games. So we can pull up the menu here and you can see it is a little bit customizable. So if I say wanted to switch that out for a PlayStation, I can just go over here, grab that. And I thought this was really cool, guys. The, the fact that the devs actually put in connection to the console. Now, keep in mind this is early. I'm not going to lie. The last couple of days I've been playing this, I've had weird issues like these cords disappearing and, and having to steal them from other systems and then that one disappearing until I ran out of cords but you know I'm not gonna knock them I mean it, it is early but uh, man it is great and all the little details I mean you know just the, the little scuff marks on the TV here I, I've actually found myself getting to presence in this a couple of times over the last couple of nights and and I gotta tell you that that for me is a rare rare gem so okay we're gonna go ahead and fire up the uh, phony uh, game station here so let's go ahead and oh, no I guess we probably need a disc there so all right let's go ahead and grab a PlayStation disc here so I've got Activision Classics Disc World some Final Fantasy 9 but if I'm going to play on this, uh, the phony game station here I am going to play my favorite game of all freaking time so we're going to launch a little final fantasy 7 here and check it out so once again total attention to detail the you know, the, the the blue screen perfect color the the video I, this is just great i i can't say enough good things about this already um let's see here let's see if it loads and boom, there we go, Squaresoft, and I'm going to be playing a little Final Fantasy VII here in my custom bedroom. Now, there's all sorts of other little objects that you can mess with. I mean, you know, everything you can grab, you can, you can actually delete objects from the world. So if you wanted to customize this space a little bit, I mean, you can take away all the TVs. And ah, what's going on with my audio here? Uh, might be because I am recording um, the last couple of nights when I've run this it has sounded flawless in the uh, headphones of the Rift and, and and they even got a little positional audio going on in here so you know as I rotate around the sound stays over there so props to the developer on all the little details um, now let's say we wanted to play the game so all right what you got to do you just got to click an A here and that will lock us in to place and then now my touch controllers become the game controller so very cool there now the cool thing about that is is I still have control all right but I 
can walk around in room scale. So say I wanted to come over here, I still have control. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it is just so freeing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, what I would love to see in this is full customization, kind of a la Oculus Home, where I could really make this be my childhood bedroom, man. Uh, that that would blow me away. So, all right. Yeah, this is a very long intro. And let's say we want to get back out. We just click and boom, we are back out. And, uh, you know, we can change out the TVs. I just, just can't say enough good things about this. Yeah, that audio's got to be because I'm recording. There we go. Always loved the intro to this game. Oh, I mean, just the game itself. Yeah, there, there's been... Uh, come on, man, just remake it. That's all I gotta say. Peek in the cabinet there. Um, let's see, what else can I say about MUVR other than, yes, this is the most awesome thing I have found in months, uh, you know. Um, oh, um, outside. Uh, very nicely rendered. I, I'm loving it, but the coolest thing about outside is the game can actually keep track of your real time. So if I press the trigger A button here, you will see that here in my, uh, in my room it is now 10 30 and it is 10 30 in real life and boom the outside has changed as well now not just the fact that you can set it to your own time if i uh trigger and uh, use the uh, thumbstick uh, when you're not in real time you can actually change time check that out that is so freaking cool so all right, well, we'll just change it to my exact time right here in Missouri and uh, just uh, chill and look out the window and uh, play games on a virtual screen. Oh, my forehead does hurt. So, very cool. So, all right, I guess that's going to do it. Oh, hey, well, I, I turned the teleport back on. Um, I guess that is going to do it. So, guys, thank you so much for coming by my pseudo room here and hanging out with me. Um, this is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.